Today I'm going to tell you about how to prepare for the hunting season. The first thing you're going to want to do if you plan to hunt this fall is start to get in shape. You're going to want to start walking daily about mid-June. You can probably start off walking on roads, but as you get closer to the fall, you're going to want to switch to more uneven surfaces. Like, you're going to start, want to start walking cornfields, sloughs, or grass fields, because that's what you're going to walk when you hunt. If you're going to be hunting big game, you also would want to try to walk through forests, because that's where deer would live, or like, treed in areas. The next thing you're going to want to do about late June is apply for big game licenses. Big game licenses include, like, deer or elk, and you have to apply for these so early, because you have to either send them in electronically, or you have to mail them to the game fishing parks headquarters in South Dakota. Small game licenses, which include ducks, geese, pheasants, uh, you can buy those over the counter at most sporting goods stores and some gas stations. So you don't have to get those until the day before you go out hunting. The next thing you're going to want to get is you want to get your gear together. Uh, South Dakota law says that if you hunt on, pi on public land, you need to have an orange article of clothing of some sort, so I always wear an orange hat, because it's the easiest to wear for me, and the vest, like an orange vest, would always like inhibit my movement, and I didn't really like that. For a coat, I just have a heavy, like, winter coat, like camo winter coat, and for coveralls, I just have black coveralls, and for boots, I have boots that are uh, versatile. Uh, they have a lot of insulation in them, so if I'm going to be sitting waiting for deer, they'll keep my feet warm. But they also have a lot of support in them, so when I go hiking for pheasants, or like when I walk into a sit, I don't, like, my feet aren't don't hurt by the time I get into the sit, because then if they hurt already, I'm going to have to walk out on hurt feet, and that's just not going to be fun for anyone. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your firearm out and clean it up and make sure the scope is still on, so you're going to have to take it to a shooting range and shoot it a few times just to make sure that the scope is still dead on. If you hunt with a bow, you're going to want to get the bow out about mid to late August and start practicing with it. You want to shoot it every day so you can build up the muscles again and get your form back on top. If you, after that, you're going to want to start scouting for deer. Um, to scout, you're going to have to look for like deer paths or like other deer sign like scrapes on trees or like even fecal material. After you find a lot of deer sign in an area, you're going to want to hang a stand, but you're going to want to hang the stand about late August, and you want to hang it off the trail, about 10 yards off the trail, and you want to hang it 10 to 15 feet above the trail so the deer don't notice it. And even if they do notice it, you want to hang it weeks before you start hunting so they have time to get used to it before you climb in it for the first time. And finally, the night before you start hunting, you're going to want to lay all your gear out and make sure it's all there and make sure it's all working properly. And that's how you prepare for the hunting season.